Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled among the rugged mountains of Afghanistan, there lived a magnificent Afghan hound named Zara. Zara was no ordinary dog, she possessed an elegance and grace that set her apart from the others. Her long, silky golden coat cascaded down her slender body, and her dark, soulful eyes sparkled with wisdom and curiosity. From a young age, Zara showed a deep love for exploration. She would often escape the confines of her home and wander into the wilderness, following her instincts and chasing the scents carried by the wind. Her adventures took her to breathtaking landscapes, from vast desert dunes to lush green valleys, and she became a symbol of beauty and freedom among the villagers. One fateful day, while venturing deep into the mountains, Zara stumbled upon a wounded bird with a broken wing. Instinctively, she felt compelled to help. With utmost care, she cradled the bird in her mouth and carried it back to her village. Zara's act of kindness touched the hearts of the villagers, who marveled at her gentle nature and the tenderness with which she treated the injured creature. Word of Zara's compassionate deed soon spread far and wide. People from neighboring villages started visiting her village, hoping to catch a glimpse of the remarkable Afghan hound. Zara became a symbol of hope and inspiration, reminding people of the power of empathy and selflessness. As the years went by, Zara continued her adventures, often venturing out to assist those in need. She would comfort the lonely, protect the vulnerable, and even help guide lost travelers back to safety. Her legend grew with each act of kindness, and her name became synonymous with compassion. Point one day, an explorer from a distant land heard tales of Zara's remarkable deeds and decided to capture her beauty on canvas. He traveled to Zara's village armed with paints and brushes, and asked for permission to paint her portrait. Zara, always gracious and gentle, agreed. For weeks, the explorer diligently worked on capturing Zara's essence, the radiance that emanated from her being. He depicted her against a backdrop of the majestic mountains that she had come to know so well, paying homage to her adventurous spirit and the landscapes she had traversed. Once the painting was complete, it was exhibited in galleries across the world. People marveled at the beauty captured on the canvas, and Zara's story of compassion and courage spread even further. She became an emblem of love and kindness, reminding people that the smallest acts can make a profound difference in the lives of others. Zara lived a long and fulfilling life, surrounded by the love and admiration of her village. Her legacy lived on through the generations, inspiring countless individuals to embrace empathy and seek the beauty that lies within all living beings. And so, the tale of Zara, the Afghan hound, serves as a timeless reminder that sometimes, the Afghan hound lived a remarkable lifetime of 14 years. Throughout her years, she brought joy and inspiration to those who crossed her path. In terms of height and weight, Afghan hounds are known for their regal stature and elegant build. On average, a fully grown Afghan hound stands between 25 to 27 inches, 63 to 69 centimeters, at the shoulder. As for weight, they typically range from 50 to 60 pounds, 23 to 27 kilograms, with some individuals weighing slightly more or less depending on their genetics and overall health. Zara, with her stunning golden coat and graceful appearance, exemplified the beauty and charm of her breed. Her distinctive features and compassionate nature made her a beloved companion and a symbol of inspiration for all who encountered her. Raising an Afghan hound requires special attention due to their specific breed characteristics. Here are some tips to help you raise an Afghan hound. Understand their exercise needs. Afghan hounds are a sighthound breed, known for their speed and agility. They require regular exercise to stay healthy and happy. Provide them with daily opportunities to run and play in a secure, fenced area. Long walks or jogs can also be beneficial, but be cautious not to overexert them in extreme heat or cold. Grooming Afghan hounds have a long, flowing coat that requires regular grooming. Brush their coat at least a few times a week to prevent matting and tangling. Professional grooming every four to six weeks can help maintain their coat's health and appearance. Pay attention to their ears and keep them clean to prevent infections. Create a safe environment. Afghan hounds are known for their curiosity and tendency to wander. Ensure your home and yard are securely fenced to prevent them from escaping. Supervise them during outdoor activities to avoid potential hazards. Socialization Early and ongoing socialization is vital for Afghan hounds. 
introduce them to various people, animals, and environments to help them become well-adjusted and confident. Puppy socialization classes and controlled interactions can be beneficial. Positive reinforcement training, Afghan hounds respond well to positive reinforcement training methods. Use rewards, such as treats, praise, and play, to motivate and reinforce desired behaviors. Consistency and patience are key when training Afghan hounds, as they can be independent thinkers. Mental stimulation, provide mental enrichment activities to keep your Afghan hound engaged and prevent boredom. Puzzle toys, interactive games, and obedience training sessions can help stimulate their intelligent minds. Be mindful of temperature, Afghan hounds have a thin coat that provides little insulation. Protect them from extreme cold weather with dog sweaters. Or coats. In hot weather, provide shade, fresh water, and avoid exercise during the hottest parts of the day. Regular health care. Schedule regular checkups with a veterinarian to ensure your Afghan hound's overall health and well-being. Keep up to date with vaccinations, parasite prevention, and dental care. Bonding and companionship. Afghan hounds thrive on companionship and love being part of the family. Spend quality time with your dog, provide them with affection, and include them in your daily activities. Remember, Afghan hounds are unique individuals, and their needs may vary. Observe your dog's behavior and adjust your care accordingly. By understanding their specific requirements and providing a loving and stimulating environment, you can raise a happy and healthy Afghan hound. Determining whether an Afghan hound is happy or sad can be a complex task, as it requires observing their body language, behavior, and overall well-being. While each dog may have their own unique expressions, here are some general signs that can indicate whether an Afghan hound is happy or sad. Signs of a happy Afghan hound Relaxed body posture, a happy Afghan hound will have a relaxed stance, with a neutral or slightly wagging tail. Their body will appear loose and not overly tense. Bright and alert eyes, when a dog is happy, their eyes are usually bright, with a soft and content expression. Eager and playful behavior, happy Afghan hounds tend to engage in playful activities, such as chasing toys, play bowing, or inviting you to play with them. A wagging tail, a gently wagging tail, typically held at a mid-level or slightly higher, is often a sign of happiness and excitement. Relaxed facial expression, happy Afghan hounds may have an open mouth with a relaxed, slightly panting tongue. Their facial muscles will be loose, without signs of tension or stress. Signs of a sad Afghan hound. Withdrawn or subdued behavior, if an Afghan hound is feeling sad, they may exhibit a lack of interest in activities they typically enjoy. They may isolate themselves or appear less engaged with their surroundings. Low energy levels, a sad dog may exhibit decreased energy levels, seeming less enthusiastic or less interested in interacting with people or other pets. Avoidance or hiding, if an Afghan hound is feeling sad, they may seek seclusion, such as finding a quiet spot or retreating to their bed or crate. Loss of appetite or interest in food, a dog's appetite can be affected when they are sad or feeling unwell. If they consistently show disinterest in food, it may indicate a potential issue. Changes in body language, a sad Afghan hound might exhibit signs of tension or stress, such as a lowered head, tucked tail, or a hunched posture. Their eyes may appear dull or lack the usual sparkle. It's important to note that these signs can also be influenced by other factors, such as illness or discomfort. If you notice significant changes in your Afghan hound's behavior or mood, it's always recommended to consult with a veterinarian to rule out any underlying health concerns. Afghan hounds are known to be loyal to their human companions. They form strong bonds with their families and often develop a deep sense of loyalty and devotion. Afghan hounds are typically affectionate and enjoy spending time with their loved ones. They appreciate the companionship and thrive when they feel connected to their human family members. Their loyalty is often demonstrated through their desire to be near their humans, their willingness to please, and their protective instincts. Afghan hounds may show loyalty by staying close to their family members, following them around the house, and seeking physical contact or affectionate gestures like leaning against their owners or offering gentle nudges. It's worth noting that the level of loyalty can vary between individual dogs, as personality traits can differ even within the same breed. 
Proper socialization, training, and nurturing a strong bond from an early age can contribute to fostering a loyal relationship with an Afghan hound. It's important to reciprocate their loyalty by providing love, care, and attention, creating a mutually trusting and fulfilling bond. Like all dog breeds, Afghan hounds can be prone to certain health conditions. While not all individuals will experience these issues, it's important to be aware of potential health concerns that can affect Afghan hounds. Some common health conditions in Afghan hounds include Hip dysplasia, this is a genetic condition where the hip joint does not develop properly, leading to pain, lameness, and arthritis. Regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and responsible breeding practices can help reduce the risk of hip dysplasia. Progressive retinal atrophy, PRA PRA is a group of genetic diseases that cause progressive vision loss and can eventually lead to blindness. Regular eye examinations by a veterinary ophthalmologist can help detect and manage PRA. Hypothyroidism, Afghan hounds can be prone to thyroid hormone imbalances, which can lead to symptoms like weight gain, lethargy, and skin issues. Regular blood tests and monitoring by a veterinarian can help manage this condition. Immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, MHA IMHA is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system attacks and destroys red blood cells, leading to anemia. Prompt diagnosis and treatment are essential for managing this potentially life-threatening condition. Cancer, Afghan hounds can be susceptible to various types of cancer, including lymphoma and osteosarcoma. Regular veterinary checkups, early detection, and appropriate treatment options can improve outcomes. Allergies, some Afghan hounds may develop allergies, which can manifest as skin irritations, itching, and gastrointestinal issues. Identifying and avoiding allergens, along with veterinary guidance, can help manage these allergies. Bloat, gastric dilatation volvulus This is a serious condition that affects deep-chested breeds like Afghan hounds. Bloat occurs when the stomach twists, leading to a potentially life-threatening situation. Feeding smaller, frequent meals and avoiding exercise after meals may help reduce the risk. It's important to note that not all Afghan hounds will develop these conditions, and responsible breeding practices can help minimize the incidence of genetic disorders. Regular veterinary checkups, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and early detection of any potential health issues can contribute to the overall well-being of an Afghan hound. The diseases commonly found in Afghan hounds, as mentioned earlier, are generally not contagious to humans. However, it's always important to practice good hygiene and take necessary precautions when handling any sick or potentially contagious animal, regardless of the breed. This includes regular handwashing after interacting with your dog, especially if they have an infection or open wounds. While diseases like hip dysplasia, PRA, hypothyroidism, and cancer are genetic or immune-related conditions specific to dogs, they are not transmissible to humans. It's worth noting that there are some zoonotic diseases, diseases that can be transmitted between animals and humans, but the diseases commonly found in Afghan hounds, such as those mentioned earlier, are not typically among them. However, it's always a good idea to consult with your veterinarian if you have concerns about your Afghan hound's health or if you suspect any unusual symptoms. They can provide guidance specific to your dog's condition and advise you on any potential risks to human health if applicable. The treatment for Afghan hounds depends on the specific health condition they are experiencing. It is important to note that I am an AI language model and not a veterinarian, so it is always best to consult with a qualified veterinarian for accurate diagnosis and treatment options. However, I can provide some general information on how certain conditions in Afghan hounds may be treated. Hip dysplasia Treatment options for hip dysplasia can range from conservative management, including weight management, exercise modification, and physical therapy, to surgical interventions such as hip replacement or femoral head ostectomy, removal of the ball of the hip joint. The appropriate treatment plan will depend on the severity of the condition and the dog's overall health. Progressive retinal atrophy, PRA Unfortunately, there is currently no cure for PRA. However, management can involve regular monitoring of vision, providing a safe and familiar environment for the dog, and making adaptations to the home to help them navigate. Your veterinarian may recommend additional measures to slow the progression of the disease. Hypothyroidism Hypothyroidism is typically managed through lifelong hormone replacement therapy using synthetic thyroid hormone medication. 
regular monitoring of hormone levels and adjustment of medication dosage may be necessary to maintain optimal thyroid function. Immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, IMHA treatment for IMHA involves addressing the underlying immune system dysfunction and managing the anemia. This may include immunosuppressive medications, blood transfusions, supportive care, and close monitoring by a veterinarian. Treatment is often tailored to the individual dog's condition. Cancer, treatment for cancer in Afghan hounds depends on the type, stage, and location of the cancer. Options may include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, or a combination of these treatments. The treatment plan will be determined by a veterinary oncologist based on a thorough evaluation of the specific case. It's important to note that treatment plans should always be discussed and determined in consultation with a veterinarian who can provide personalized advice based on the individual Afghan hound's condition, overall health, and other factors.